Hey, what is up guys? My name is Bobloon, aka Pabloon, and today we are back with another Bob Plays. Today, I have uh, decided that I should probably follow up on a request I had some time ago. I'm very sorry to, uh, I, I forgot your name, but I definitely remember the request. We had a guy who requested Kleber and Venezia, and I, I said yes to it, but completely forgot about it. So today, I'm going to be following up on that request, and we're going to be playing Kleber and Venezia. And we're also going to be playing the Yu Yang. Now, Yu Yang is going to be on the NA account because I don't have Yu Yang on this thing. As you can see, it should be right here next to Jinan. But I definitely have Kleber and I definitely have Venezia. And wow, all my ships have become British. Except for Gudenlu. Anyway, there she is, Venezia. Let me let me just click on all these, make sure so nobody gets confused. Uh, that, that That's weird. And my Venezia here is actually equipped with Sansonetti. And I, I, I do love Venezia, but it is a rough ship to play right now. So I'm going to hope that we get a DD heavy enemy team. If not, I'm going to be showing you guys how to deal with it. How to play Venezia without a DD heavy composition. But first, I'm going to be taking a look at the Kleber. Now, my, my Kleber is probably one of my best DDs. Um, it's not my favorite DD, but it's definitely up there. I don't know how many battles I end up having in it. Kleber, almost an 80% win rate, and um, I would love some higher average damage. But then again, if you're playing Kleber correctly, you are going for destroyers, and destroyers won't net you the highest damage. There's definitely some people out there. I'm thinking maybe Steve, maybe uh, maybe some of you crazy DD mains can get very high average in this. But I'm mostly focusing on my win rate, and the reason Kleber's win rate is so high, I think, at least for me, is because of the DD knife fighting capabilities. It can 1v1 any DD. And the fact that you can easily light battleships on fire, you can easily fight cruisers with your heavy hitting AP, and your, your torpedoes are very fast. And you have, you know, oh, that's Mingas. And you have, you know, the capability to shoot three torpedoes, or sorry, six in total on each side that go, how, how many, how long did they, how far did they go? Seven and a half kilometers. And they almost go 70 knots. Now, if you look at Holland's torpedoes, see how fast Holland's torpedoes are. They are 89 knots. So you can see it's it's still pretty far behind Holland torpedoes, but it's definitely fast torpedoes still. So for the build, I don't think you need to run the legendary mod, but I definitely think it's a good mod. Like as you can see, it does not have any negative effects on Kleber. It gives you traverse acceleration. Gives you main battery traverse speed and torpedo tube traverse speed. The the main batteries on these guns, these are 139 millimeter, are very slow. So for me, it definitely helps because then it means I can equip the reload mod. And I can also equip the concealment systems because we get maneuverability from this. So this is the build I run. If I hadn't been running the legendary mod, I would probably be going with acceleration. And I'm not sure if I would be running detection still, but either detection or speed mod. For my commander, we're running a President Nokshwain. Nok 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 yeah, I don't know. This this alien dude. And uh, the build is as follows. We got underwater protection, torpedo alert, preheating, victorious charge, fire supremacy for that extra rapid reload. I take exploit weakness because fire and floods. This thing is a good fire starter, uh, especially if somebody has damage controlled and you have a rapid reload up, you can easily set a triple fire. Got fully prepared, Adrenaline Rush, of course you gotta have Engine Overload, it's a French ship. Master Reloader is also a must on a French ship, if they have a French, if they have a Rapid Reload, of course. APCS, and then I would take Giant Hunter. I mean, maybe we can actually... Oh, is it worth it, guys? What, what's the free XP cost? Nope. You know what, I'm just gonna spend the gold. We're, we're gonna get Giant Hunter for this. So now we have a max level commander on the Kleber. That, that That's always nice. But yeah, let's uh, hop in a game. I'll be back once uh, once we found a game that's fully populated with players and not full of bots. And here we are. So there's a Regolo on the enemy team. There is three BBs, so this is actually quite nice. And we have a fleet mate. I see we have Edward Kenway here in the Sejong. So quite a tier 9 heavy game. I won't complain. And we're playing on Friar's Lantern. So I think the plan here is, I hope my DDs are going to go take B and I'll go contest A. Now, my biggest fear is we meet the Atelio Regolo. 
The Telio Regolo is definitely a ship that we can fight, but it's not really a fight I want to take per se, because he'll damage us quite a bit, and we don't have a smoke, we really only have our speed boost to escape such a situation, so I definitely want to avoid fighting him at close range and use, we, we can shoot for up to 11 kilometers, which is not bad at all, compared to, what's his face, Rugolo, who can shoot like what, just under 8 kilometers, so we, we definitely have the range advantage. They want us to cap A, <clears throat> but really I don't want to, because as soon as I go in here I'm going to get spotted and then I have to turn out, but I think we got some support and we're just going to have our finger ready on the engine boost here, and it's the Rugolo. He's going to use his little smoke thing here, and I'm going to actually just start hammering on the Sejong here, and there he is. He's gonna try our best to deal damage to Rugolo. Because he uh, he's a big, big threat to me. And we could do a ton of damage to him, so. Alright, we, we escaped somewhat unscathed. We didn't even take damage. Great. That must be Rugolo torpedoes, I think. Oh, we got a torp hit on the Sejong. Not bad. I'll keep harassing this guy just because he's still a threat to me. But we got A, which is very nice. Gonna just shoot some preliminary torps that way. Oh, we got his rudder. Look at that, Sejong. So this is what I mean. When you're playing Clear do not be feel discouraged to shoot at cruisers. They are definitely, especially if they're light cruisers, they are not the biggest threat to you. If you have a rapid reload, you can definitely deter them from trying. And I urge you to do that. Just look at the damage. Oh, nice. We got a flood from Kremlin. That means when I'm in my rapid reloads up, I... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I think that must have been the... Uh... Yeah, the FDG. Wow. Good job. Let's swap to the HE here. Send some more torpedoes. Activate the speed boost because we got rapid reload coming up now. And now it's just time to farm this man. Sorry, just fishing. But uh, I have to do this. Hopefully we get a fire on him. Yeah, there we, there we go. No, he shouldn't have a DCP, but it is a Kremlin, so obviously it's it's fast recharging. And we see the Rogolo coming up in front of us here, so we need to be worried about him. He's shooting HE for some reason. He's not even shooting at us. Oh, that was very nice. We noticed those. Maybe we actually might have spotted them for the uh, FDG there. Oh, he ran into them. Okay. So I think he's a he's a he's a goner. Oh no 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 no! I do not want to get hit by those. Turn. Okay, so we definitely deterred the enemy team in this direction, and we got all the VVs. So my 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 team just completely annihilated everyone. All right. Hmm. What do we do here? Team destroyed everything. I think we should take a fight with Rugolo. I think that's the play here, man. I'm gonna wait with using my rapid reload. Yeah, because now he has his smoke and I don't wanna... have to waste my rapid reload for this. He doesn't even shoot me, I don't know why. Well, I think we won this fight, so he's dead. Damn! <clears throat> And now we just go hunting for the Kremlin. We still have 20 seconds of a speed boost, so we're going to get there very fast. When you're going for BBs in Clavera, don't be afraid to get close, because your speed can outrun their guns, so you can pretty much get around them. And then you can get all your torpedoes off, which is very powerful. That's a double fire. I think he's going to repair that. Oh, he's dead to the Shimmer here. Yep, uh, he's dead. GG. That is pretty much a one game. I'm just gonna give a good job to my team here. Oh, he did. Oh, wow, he got he got the shimmer. So what's left? What's the last guy? It is. It's of course Shimakazi. Let's. I mean, hopefully he spots us so we have an idea where he is. Well, now we know. He is probably somewhere around these islands. Maybe in the gap. We still have a speed boost, so let's just use it to 
maybe maybe get some extra damage. Maybe we can get to 100k. I doubt it, since Shimmers aren't that healthy. They don't have that much HP. Actually, how much HP does, does a Shimmer have? I, I don't know. I just know they're not very tanky at all. So one trick you can do is you can shoot so your detection bloom goes up. And then you can see if the enemy is in your vicinity. He is. So my guess is he would be over here somewhere. Because he can't be behind the island if I'm spotted. And the Jinan is right there. Oh, sorry, Sejong. So I'm pretty sure he's somewhere around here. I mean, maybe shooting your torpedoes. Oh, I think I think we were right. That was... Wow. That is a way you can use the map and use detection to find an enemy target that you have really no clue where it is. But if you use the detection... Oh, now we know here. Okay, he's inside our vicinity and he doesn't have torpedoes. So it's just a matter of time before we spot him because we are faster than him. I'm guessing he's over here. Question is where? I'm just going to send some torpedo. There he is. All right. I'm not going to use my rapid reload just yet because the island's going to take all the shells. It's just going to be super annoying to deal with. All right, here we go. This is the... I didn't aim too high there. I should have aimed higher. Come on, let me... And then he turns, obviously. Can we just get 90k? That'd be so nice. We can. I don't think we're going to get the kill here. Nope. But still a pretty good game in Clubera. And you can see why it's a powerful ship. It's it's very good at repositioning. It is very good at challenging other DDs. It can challenge light cruisers. And you still have a pretty good torpedo package with these amazing 139s. I mean, 139s is almost as big as Yodo Caliber 150. Just think about that. And uh, you see they deal a lot of damage. So that was the Clubair. Now we're going to move on to the Venezia. And uh, I'll show you guys how I equip that. Because it's a little bit special build. Um, a little, there's a little bob tech involved. And it is because of the nerf to, to Venezia. So why don't, we, why don't we go take a look at it. Alright, so here we are with the Venezia. With the... Oh, what is this? Steampunk camo? Svayotozar? Pretty cool. It's, it's got some nice tracers. I, I don't know. The camo looks cool, I guess. But I actually, I do prefer the standard camo it they give the same things but this thing does not have tracers i mean the normal venezia camo is just amazing i love italian camos but i'm kind of a sucker for tracers so for the elite bonus i have the traverse speed you could also go for this but i don't know if you would want that so obviously go for advanced turret i also forgot to show my elite bonus on clever which is actually not the speed and I don't know. I feel like that the ship is fast enough. I don't feel like I need more speed and more acceleration. Um, so I actually opt in for the guns. But in this situation, I think it's really up to you. If you want to be a flanker that can get around the map even quicker, this is obviously the choice. But I, I just prefer Elite Gun Operator. Especially also because it gives Traverse speed. Anyways, back to the Venezia. I, I keep forgetting showing the Elite bonus. Now for the build. This is a pretty... Weird build for Venezia, some might say. Um, reload is because Venezia's gun reload is really slow. Um, it's 12.8 for me, but it's obviously even slower without the reload mod. You do suffer getting your guns destroyed more often, so that is a downside to the reload mod, but I just really like it. Also because some people might say, oh, you should take dispersion mod. Yes, you could do that, but Venezia is equipped with four precise aim you don't need dispersion mod because if you actually use all your precise aiming you will pretty much have a dispersion mod on if you if you see that's my point of view at least i have rudder because i like to drive by people in venezia the the closer you get the more effective your sap is and your ap also especially if you're fighting bbs you also have torpedoes on each side three per side they have a pretty good range so i like having the rudder mod to scoot under shells get more torpedoes off and just dodge in general it's also very nice to have rudder when you are in your fuel smoke and trying to make an escape so the turn doesn't take so long and then we have detection here because i don't want to get blapped in the beginning of the game 
uh, and especially if there's not many DDs and we have to be a long range artillery ship, I like having detection so I have the ability to escape again and disengage. Venezia also has a legendary mod, but uh, I mean, that that detection nerf is kind of, I don't, I don't like that. Uh, this is probably super fun to play with, plus 30% traverse acceleration is going to make you even crazier. And if you if you combine that with, with this or even just some acceleration, probably would be really good. But maybe we should try that on stream. I actually haven't tried Venezia Legendary Mod yet. For the commander, we are using Luigi Sansonetti, and this guy is not even max level either. What is going on? I guess I haven't played Venezia that much lately. But he is amazing for Venezia. He's amazing for a lot of Italian ships, but he is honestly tailor-made for this ship. We get underwater protection, torpedo alert plus, artillery maintenance plus, which is just a nice skill. It's the sixth sense, which... Oh, oh, this is a nice skill for cruisers, especially Venezia, because you are... A big cruiser, pretty easy to hit. I actually take Daredevil. Um, you should probably go for Survivalist. I don't think another precise aim, like have, having five is not needed. But I am kind of weird, and since I am running a rudder instead of acceleration, I, I actually take Daredevil. Now, realistically speaking, Daredevil should really only be used on DDs. But if you have watched this channel a little bit, you know I'm not one to... I'm not afraid to stray away from the mainstream, let me just say that. Anyways, we want to take Generalist because you can't set fires and it's very rare to set a flood. You don't have a sonar either. So Generalist Marksman Plus is very nice to have because of the precise aiming. Adrenaline Rush. Some people would say you should take Fuel Smokes or sorry, Mist Weaver so you have a shorter cooldown on your Fuel Smokes. I actually see that as a bad thing because if you have a shorter cooldown on your Fuel Smokes, you also tend to use them faster. So I'd like, I like having an... Just one last fuel smoke at the end of the game that I can use, and that's why I don't take Mistweaver. I'd rather have the increased DPM. Demolition Expert, Honor Seeker, of course you gotta have HLDGPC. <laughs> High Loading Density Gun Propellant Charge, which boosts your SAP and HE. If you don't have that, obviously go for APCS. There's a, that's a no-brainer. And for this thing, I would take Giant Hunter because I actually do use the torpedoes quite a lot on Venezia, especially when you're knife fighting DDs. They are very good. So, without further ado, let's hop in the game and see how the Venezia plays. Okay, so we actually got some DDs, which is not bad. And we got Austria, the, the almighty Shimakaze main. This is probably one of the only Shimakaze mains that I am actually afraid of. And Crozer on the other team. Okay, so that means we're going to be... There's some DDs to shoot at, which is lovely. I had a game before this where, I mean, there was one DD, it was Crozone again. And... The reality is, when you're playing Venezia, you won't be you won't be getting the, the the games you want. You'll get all the time. Every time you play Venezia, you will get games where you are hoping for DDs, but you get battleships. This is a rare, rare case of playing Venezia where we, where our, our little niche can actually be used. And this is one of the main reasons I don't actually recommend you get Venezia. It's a really fun ship. Sure, it is a really fun ship. But only when you are against lightly armored targets and especially DDs. When you're just facing a lot of heavy cruisers, a lot of BBs, I'd rather be playing Hindenburg. And even in that case, if there's a lot of DDs, Hindenburg is just fine at dealing with those. Where Venezia, it's really good at dealing with DDs, but it's not that much better. So in the current state of things, after they nerfed this ship, it, there's just not a reason to play it. Which is super sad, and I, I wish it wasn't like that. We're going in a little bit aggressive here because I want to get a nice first strike or at least some initiate yeah like that some, some good first damage on a DD and maybe we can get a first kill uh, very early on which would be powerful the team I don't think that's gonna connect and get a kill but it could do some damage definitely close definitely acceptable for sure Alright, he's dead. Good job to uh, Austria there with this Shimakaze. The Shimakaze main, like I said. And that is also a dead sow. Okay, so this game is just over. This is just over already. Not even... No no contest. Ga the enemy team just gave up. Oh, we got another Torp Strike on him. Oh, hello. Should probably turn. 
See if we can get some hits on Gearing. Okay, I overshot him. Just kind of sad. I should have I should have aimed lower there. But he, he actually keeps on persisting, which is very brave of him. It's gonna hurt. Yep, that is gonna hurt. I think we can finish him off here. If he doesn't turn away, he's gonna eat some damage here. Yep. That is what Venezia can do, and that is what you are hoping for when you're playing this ship, is getting a game with a ton of DDs. Right, we're gonna eat some pain here. Yeah, that's a double citadel on him, Smolensk. Yeah, this is what I say, lightly targets, and that's a dead Smolensk. Wow. Wow! These salvos were just on point. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna outturn that. Hmm, alright, me and you again, Crowzone, me and you again. This is the last game I played versus Crowzone in a DD2. And he was doing some great dodging, I gotta say. He's not stopping, that's gonna hurt. Yep. Let's see. I know your pattern now, bro. I know what you're doing. Every time I shoot, he turns the other direction. Very clever little move. Oh, he's gonna try to shoot torpedoes now? Nope. Alright, this is a little better showcase of what Venezia is and can do, but a very easy game. <laughs> wow, GG. <laughs> okay. I think I might just include both games if I ha if I still have it on my... I'm, I don't know if I deleted it. I think you guys will get both games. GG, Crowzone. GG. So, that's Venezia for you right there. Um, good ship against DDs and Smolensks and Minotaurs, especially when you have Cincinnati. This this skill right here makes your sap even more punchy against heavier targets than DDs, but even without this, your sap still does a ton of damage. Now, I would still advise you if you're shooting at a Smolensk, use your AP. It just does more damage overall, um, but sap is very, very punchy. And very consistent on lightly armored targets, which is what I like about it. Now we're going to go over to NA, and we're going to try Yu Yang. Now I don't play Yu Yang a lot, I don't have Yu Yang like I said, so it's going to be interesting. It's going to be uh, not a first, I've played it one time, but it's definitely going to be a new experience for me, so I'll see you guys over there. So, we're on the NA server, and I had deleted that other game I had, so... You only got that one Venezia game, but that that's a, a good Venezia game. That's one of the games you actually hope for. So I hope you enjoyed. And if you are thinking of getting Venezia, you can have those games. And you see what the, the SAP can do against DDs. You can have a big impact if you are willing to take some risks and you have good aim. Because you do need all the shells to connect. You do need to hit those 15, 12 to 15 shells to get that really impactful salvo on a DD. But a, a pretty good game, I would say. Now we're on NA, like I said, we're going to be checking out the Yu Yang, and we're in this uh, the Shanghai port. Um, so, I mean, even though it's a Taiwanese ship, this is the only, you know, East, Southeast Asian port I have. I mean, we could also take the Dragon port, but anyways. This is the build I'm running, reload mod, acceleration, det detection, very standard, and then we have Ding Buseng, because I do have this commander on my own account, so if I... When, when I do get Yu Yang, it's not an if, I will probably get Yu Yang one day. This is the way I would, running, would run him. If I didn't have the Legendary Commander, I would take this instead. But we're running Emergency, emergency Response, Tweet Alert, Creating Plus, Victorious Charge, Daredevil Plus. I would also run Daredevil if I wasn't in, if I didn't have this guy. Exploit Weakness, Fully Prepared, Mist Weaver because we have American Smokes. Eh, well, not because that matters. Uh, it's the same smoke in this game, but hey, it's it's a smoke. It has smoke screens, which is good, and you you do want to increase the duration and it, radius of that. Engine overload plus, and we have honor seeker, APCS, and giant hunter plus. Now I'm I'm actually confused. Does it even have speed boost? It does. Okay. The cool thing about Yu Yang is you have radar, which radar and smoke is quite powerful. That's a very powerful combination. The trade-off is you have deep water torpedoes. That means you can't torpedo other dd so we're definitely going to be going for destroyers in this game um, and seeing what happens so uh, i'll see you guys in the game 
Oh, and before we start, I went with the advanced torpedo elite bonus. See, guys, I keep forgetting the elite bonus. I'm sorry. I mean, you can also go for firing range, but I feel like when you got deep water torps, you want to increase the damage and the flooding chance. So that's why I chose this. Oh my god. So, this is probably the best chance I get at a full player game. This is like my 12th game. I had a game where there were two bots. There's, okay, there's still two bots in this. So, same situation as before, but look at this, guys. Look at all these ships that we can hit with torpedoes. This is perfect Yu Yang game. This is the perfect Yu Yang game. We have two DDs. They have one. It's a bot. Oh yeah, we're 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 gonna be flanking. I sincerely hope the CV is not coming my way, but let's see what we can do. So I had another game. I was considering using that because, well, I I I don't want to sit here and play twenty battles facing bots, but we actually got a real game here, and uh, it's because of, I'm, I'm playing it, uh, what, what is it, it's almost 3 here in EU in Denmark, so obviously it's not prime time for NA, that means we're going to get more bots, but we actually were lucky enough to get a game, so I'm going to take advantage and do my best here, and we're going to try to flake, never mind. The CB's coming our way, he's going to go for that Asumo who's pushing like a menace, I mean we're going to get spotted here anyways, so... I'm actually going to open up, try to get this Fletcher bot. Let's see what can we do to this is sumo. Just send it front of the island because he might turn in to fight these guys. It seems their whole team is pushing the other flank, so we're going to move in close here and try our best to maybe get close to the CV. Because we do have an enemy CV. Oh yeah, we're going to get some hits. Nice. Can we get a flood? We did get a flood. Let's get a permafire too. Oh, it's a it's a CV player. Okay, okay. We got the Amato right there. I don't want to expose myself too much to him. We're actually undetected here, which is awesome. Oh, he's running. He is running. That's a fire on that guy. Let's see if we can set a fire on this guy. So four, five, six. Seven, eight, midway is off DCP now. Which means he could be set on fire. That's something you have to... If you really want to maximize damage, guys, you should take account for their damage controls and when they're up. And he's probably going to keep reversing. I'm just thinking. I'm going to make it look like I am... Oh, I, sh I actually made a mistake there. I, I turned into his torpedoes. That's my fault. Luckily, it's a midway, so he doesn't have that many torps. Yamato shooting at us. That is, that's a double fire. I think we got. Yeah, we're gonna get. To, that's a triple fire. Perfect. Now we're gonna swap over to this guy because he's obviously gonna get flooded. Yes, he is. Wait, what are we? What is that? That's an Aegir. Perfect target too. He is shooting that HE. Let's watch out for Aegir secondaries here in a second. Gonna smoke up, that's a permafire, nice. Gonna leave the midway alone for now, because Yamato is a bigger threat. And I have to, have to help my Asumo here. He's dead, so we're all alone now. That just made it even more interesting. It's a double perma, can we get a flood from this CV? Please, give him a flood. Oh, oh flood. Gonna send some torps this way, maybe Aegir turns in. I think he will. And then we're going to try to set Aegir on fire here. Because I have a feeling that he is going to get hit by some of these torpedoes. At least one or two. Okay, we got Yamato HE coming. We got midway bombers too. Oh, this is this could get really bad. Try to heal this. Get away. Create some distance. We didn't get hit by the first. And we get Yamato here. Nope, they ran through him. Or he died. No, he's still alive. Okay, now he's gone. 131k, not bad. Alright, let's see, what is the range? We got 10 kilometers of range. 9.30 on the guns. Let's, let's focus on Aegir for now. That's a double perma. Yeah, he's dead. 
He is just a dead man. Oh yeah. I'm very happy I was persistent and played 12 games against bots because this is obviously a fun game. We get to push, we get to deal a ton of damage. Maybe we even get to finish off the CV here. Alright, it's just you and me. Just you and me, Mr. CV. Major Brawler. Let's see how good you are at brawling. Sure, he's got his, his bombers. He's got his torpedoes. Oh, we're gonna get... Okay, we're gonna eat one. It's fine. I'm gonna go all the way up there, guys. I am not a fan of these midways, so... I'm gonna get as close as humanly possible. Look look how look how scared he is in that corner, guys. Look at this midway. Oh, it's so scary, huh? You're a midway player. Oh, it's so scary. Oh, it's a Yu Yang pushing you. You're scared. Oh my god, look at this, look at this. We got how much how much damage? 150 at least? 150 at least. Hell yeah, 166k, let's go. We did get a lot of damage on bots, but still. Not a bad game. Not a bad game. 166k. That's a good Yu Yang game right there. Okay, I'm very happy I waited. I'm very happy I waited. Yeah, I might I might need to get Yu Yang. That's a super fun ship. You got that radar, you got smoke, you got some pretty decent guns actually. Very nice. Very, very nice. GG. I mean we did do a lot of damage on the bots. Let's see. Torpedo damage 78. So probably 40 40k of that was maybe 30k was on the Sumo. Actually, it might might just have been 24 to something in that range. So obviously, a lot of this damage was on bots, but most of it was actually on players and maximizing our fires. That's a good tactic of if you want to get a lot of damage. If you, if you get a fire on one ship, he damage controls, swap to the other ship, see if you can get a fire on him. And then if they both have damage control, you just try to set fires on both of them as, as quick as possible. But yeah, what a what an amazing game. And what a great ending to uh bob plays so we, you see we got marksman here yo bob what you're playing uh <laughs> well you're gonna be in the video marksman uh, I'm, I'm doing a bob plays and i'm gonna hop off eu i'll hop, hop, hop back to eu now because yeah there's not that many players here so that was a pretty good game i would say a uh, pretty good video in general i think we had some awesome games in the clavero both the venezia and the yuyang it might have taken 12 games to get here but we got a great game with 166k in the end so obviously i think that's pretty pretty solid i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um stay tuned next time i forgot which ships we're doing i think it's maybe kremlin let me let me, let me check let me check